Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing the cards I made using Doodlebug Designs Great Outdoors 6x6 Paper Pad. This collection was released last year and I did share a haul video, but I ran out of time for actually using this adorable collection. In addition to the paper pad, I also purchased four of the coordinating 12x12 sheets. I like to use the muted designs for some of the backgrounds on my cards, and I do end up using almost all of those 12x12 sheets. I also purchased the Icon cardstock stickers and all three of the die cut packs. I have two of the Odds and Ends Friendly Forest pack, one Chit Chat Great Outdoors, and one Odds and Ends Great Outdoors. And then I have an assortment of Doodle Pops and Shape Sprinkles. And two of the Doodle Pops are actually Shaker Pops. There's the little tree and the s'mores, which I end up not using. They're so cute. I know I'll use them on a project at one point. If you are interested in this collection or any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Doodlebug always has the cutest collections. Most of these cards I will be donating to the residents at a local retirement home. The Doodlebug images always make them smile. If you're new to my 6x6 videos, I show almost the entire process of separating a paper pad and turning it into a set of cards. You won't see the die cutting or my prep time where I pulled out all the coordinating cardstock. For embellishments on my cards, I am using Love From Lizzie Peel-Offs. I'm showing the pinstripe style here, but I'll also be using some of the mini shapes. And if you are interested in Lizzie's Peel-Offs, I do have a link provided in the description box below. I like to use card sketches for inspiration. I don't always follow the measurements I have listed on the sketch, but if you are interested, I do share those sketches with the measurements over on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcotte.com. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. The measurements listed on this sketch are generally for the pattern paper. I love using cardstock layers, so I'll add an additional eighth of an inch for those cardstock layers. For my six by six videos, I don't do a full voiceover. All my other videos I do, so it's just my six by six videos. Sometimes it's nice to have that break. So instead I'll have some music playing in the background and remember you can always mute that music and listen to something else. If you aren't interested in watching the entire process, you can skip to the very end where I do show all of the cards or you can head over to my blog where I have individual pictures of the cards and also the product list underneath those pictures. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Now please sit back and relax and enjoy my video.
Here are all the leftover pattern paper scraps. I really just have the three small pieces, plus several of the sentiment cut aparts, and then all of these mini tags that are included in the paper pad. They're very cute, but I find them too small to use on cards. In addition to the paper pad, I also used seven sheets of eight and a half by 11 and 13 sheets of 12 by 12 solid colored cardstock. And that does not include the cardstock for the card bases. I made 42 cards using Doodlebug Designs, Great Outdoors, six by six paper pad, and also four of the 12 by 12 pattern paper sheets. This collection is absolutely adorable. You can never go wrong using Doodlebug papers. If you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Not sure if anyone noticed, but I didn't use a single stamp set. Since I have all of those ephemera packs and there's the sentiment cut aparts included in the paper pad, I really didn't need to bring in other sentiments. If you love the images in this collection, but don't really care for those camping sentiments, you can always substitute those. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.